Hey yo, how's it going y'all? What's going on everybody? Aragon here. So today we are going to jump into how to set up a Arma Reforger rented server. Uh, hopefully this is quick, easy, and uh, we can kind of just jump right into it. Alright, so we're going to start off just by heading to the, uh, to the web browser here. And it'll start off mainly looking like this. Uh, you can search Armor Reforger server, they'll pop up. I use this, uh, host Fournet, um, or sorry, well, just Fournet. Uh, and then, um, I've, I've just used them in the past, so it's just something simple and easy, something I can kind of just hopefully free flow through it with you guys. And then, uh, you know, it'll be a little bit easier to digest, but I'm 90% sure most of the servers that are run for Armor Reforger all are working the same. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on your server. Pick whichever server you know is best for you. Uh, so for me, I'm gonna just grab the cheap pack. You can adjust the slots as you'd like. Be aware that it does change the price here. You have a minimum term of contract. So remember that this a minimum term. So it starts you off with 12 months just to give you that nice cheap price. Oh, wow, only six bucks. Yeah, okay. But that locks you in. You gotta, you got, you have to hold this server for a year, right? Uh, I don't like that. I'm not like a big, I'm not big on my like, contracts. So I'm gonna go with that month to month. And that is going to change the price just a little bit. Uh, and obviously, it gives me a little bit more control over what I'm doing with my money on the month to month basis. If you're very comfortable and you know, hey, I'm locked in for the year. Hey, swing for it. Go for it. You know, easy six bucks. Why not? Me, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue playing Reforger consistently enough to, to pay that amount per month uh, for that many months. So I will pay more for less months. And then if I decide to continue, you know, then I'll cough up some more money. It's not that big a deal. Uh, your IP address uh, of the server. I don't recommend sharing. Honestly, I don't even know what it is. I don't know why this is an option. Uh, originally, I never saw this option. Um, maybe like a year ago. So it's something new. I think they're trying to get a little bit of extra money because if you're trying to uh, use a dedicated premium IP address so that your server can always be reached under the same IP, this makes it easier for you to share your server with your friends, which is why we're here. So we kind of all need this. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure why this. Anyway, uh, so you're gonna probably want to pay that extra four dollars and fifty-four cents. That way, we could do this part here. You know, easier for you to share your server with your friends. That would be great. So, you're definitely gonna want to use this part. Not, I, I still don't understand what this is, but anyway, I'm just like talking to myself here. This is your location, the physical location of your server. I mean, we can all read. I don't I don't want to be insulting anybody. I'm just making sure that uh, if you're just trying to follow along and you don't have the page up, you know exactly what I'm looking at and uh, what it's saying. So go ahead and pick the location that's closest to you. It will display your ping on the right-hand side. So you can just take that into account and just click the best one for you. Branding, if you're picky, going for an official server, you're definitely going to want to pay the extra dollar to get the branding removed. Yeah, so you're going to want to get that branding removed if you're going for a more official server. If you could care less about, you know, having the little four net players to give them a little bit of extra promo, just then go without the they, they just go with the branding. Uh, it takes a little off the top here, which will help you account for that month to month that I wanted to go with. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, we don't, if we're not going for officially, it really doesn't matter. Um, now by default, it wants to give you a TeamSpeak server. Again, it's really trying to squeeze you. Um, you don't need that. So we're going to just take that off. Right. Um, and then you're good to go. Uh, if you do want a TeamSpeak server, you're going to, again, adjust your slots, but just be aware of that price. Cause that's, that gets pretty steep once you start getting up there. I mean, there's there there's other sites. Again, I'm not like spawn. Just not a sponsored video, so I have no problem being like, yeah. There's other sites where you could get TeamSpeak servers. Uh, that might give you some better pricing. I mean, I don't have any personal recommendations right now, but I definitely am aware of a few others that I've had to use for Arma. But if you're here for Reforger, you shouldn't even need a TeamSpeak server, all right? Uh, just use Discord if you really want to, you know, have your own little private section there. Uh, and there's also free um slots in like public 
team speak service. Anyway, we're at Reforger. We're, we're, we're talking about Reforger here. We're in Reforger. We do not need a team speak server. So we're going to tick that off and uh, proceed to checkout. So at the checkout, standard checkout stuff, you're going to log in. It's going to give you a payment option. Here are your payment options PayPal, PaySafe card, Visa, MasterCard, American Express Visa. I said Visa twice. Oh, so this one says Visa Electron and then just standard Visa. Uh, you got your total here. And then you'll pay, you'll get your receipt, and then uh, once you get your email, you'll click on your email, and then it should bring you right to your um, to your server, which will be, oh, sorry, here. Okay, so once you get to your server, uh, you'll have, this is just a standard overview. Uh, it should look like this uh, under products on the left hand side you're gonna go to game server and it'll probably be empty for you or it should be uh, you're gonna need to create a new game configuration um, or add a game uh, both are relatively the same you add a game and then it'll bring you here to the same like choose a game uh, server data and all that stuff and then if you click on create a new game configuration it also brings you to the same place so whatever you gravitate towards just click on that if reforger is not up at the top here use the search keywords and type reforger and let's see I'll, 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 I'll go through this too um, so this is where you'll set up the name of your server off the rip um, your number of slots again I'm not quite sure why these go lower um, you shouldn't be able to change this you kind of lock in for your payment unless it'll ask you later um, you can't go higher, so I just would leave this the way it is. Uh, enter in your password, you know, one, two, three, four, whatever, and then just just leave the port the way it is. Um, after that, you're gonna go forward, and then your server is ready, and then you'll click on create server. Once you click create server, you're gonna have something now that looks like this. So you're going to click on this, and the first thing I would do is just be like, oh well, crap. What if I you know mess up the server name you just just go here type in your type in your name and then uh t type in a new password say all right i want to i want it to be test one two three four all right uh i still got my 10 slots i still want it to be visible i don't have an admin right now so i'm not worried about the password so i'm gonna hit save and the server saved if you hit save and it says some like weird message like basically t basically telling you we can't do it just try to refresh the page it probably logged you out you might not be logged in fully um, that was just something that's I've had happen to me uh, so once we're done there I guess let me see you have all your general information about your server here uh, yeah I realistically think that that is it Yeah. Okay. So there's nothing else to do. Once you're so, if you don't have to come into your server settings, uh, it change anything. You can go right ahead and launch your server and uh, start configuration. Your server has started. It will be available in a few moments. So just stand by, be patient. You can sit on this page and kind of watch it if you'd like. Um, it does take a little minute. Uh, and then once that happens, I would take this. I would copy it and I would wait for I would wait for your server so starting the server here it's gonna take a little minute uh, and then just be patient so you have your game settings as well down here I don't know why you would need to change any of these things I personally have never changed any of these things if you're a little bit more advanced than I am you might know what you want to do down here um, obviously this is this is for the scenario so We'll get into that more uh, if you guys want to see like a modding tutorial, because this kind of falls under a, like a little bit of like close to modding. So if you just want a standard Arm Over Forward server, you jump in with with uh, with your buddies. You know, this is all you need to do. Um, this is it. You just buy the server, set up the name, set up the password, set up the number you want, and then you just go right in. Um, if you want to start adding mods, that's a little, little tiny bit more in depth. Um, just like a quick rundown. Um, if you're using the same platform as uh, Fortnite, there's like a little thing at the bottom where it says activate advanced mode. 
and you basically are going to click this button and then you're going to have some other options here on the left hand side and that's going to allow you to get into the files and kind of start it's going to allow you to kind of start like adding mods um through an ftp i don't even know if i have it up right now um yeah through something like this and then uh you know, that's kind of a way that you'll start adding mods in but again please let me know in the comments below if you guys want more of these type of tutorials uh more just be sharing my knowledge again i'm not all knowing this is all information that's been out there uh, a lot of people have you know been doing this stuff this is just the way i do it it's really simple um and i hope you guys could you know just kind of utilize it and find it useful um but yeah so let's just double check here looks like the server started we have it copied to our dashboard here, so let's go here. And this is not a part of the tutorial. I just want to turn the music down just a little bit. Okay, and then we'll go to multiplayer. We're going to go to search. We're going to paste our server name in here. And there we are. There's our server. So go ahead and put a favorite on your server. That way you don't have to constantly search for it. And then uh, click on it. Yeah, I think it was what? Capital T E S T one, two, three, four. Is that what we changed it to? Let's see. All right, looks like it. Okay, so now we can join our server. All the standard stuff that you guys used to see when you join somebody else's server out there. This is now your own server. And after a bit of loading, you're in. Just like that. Just like that, baby. We in there. And you got your own game mode ready to go. You and your buddies get to roll out and do your thing. Boom. All right. Let's get to work. <laughs> All right. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Uh, yeah, like I said, straight to it. Relatively simple. Again, I hope everybody can really find, you know, some use out of this. Again, this is all information that's been out there. There's a lot of people who, who have taught myself a lot of videos that I've, you know, personally gone to check out to figure out how to do this stuff years ago when I was first starting. So I hope I could, you know, kind of just give back and uh, be be one of those videos for, uh, you know, someone in the future. But again, if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. It obviously really helps, and I, uh, you know, really appreciate it. And it's a great way to let me know that you guys still want more of these videos. Um, yeah. Uh, drop comments, questions, uh, things you'd like to see in another video, anything like that. And I appreciate everybody for uh, stopping by and checking out the video. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care.